Hey Capricorn, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your general reading for the week of March 18th through the 24th. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. Okay, that card didn't want to be... Neither did that one. All right, so we have some rebellious cards here. We have the Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like right now there's this need to be very clear about what you're going to do next. Because I feel like right now you are on a journey towards accomplishing a very specific goal. For some of you, it's career related. For others of you, it is um, family, home life related. But yeah, a lot of you are kind of like in this position of I need to figure out what I have to do next to keep this ball rolling because it feels like this is a journey you started a few months ago but it's like things keep changing i feel like this week you're going to be focusing on um kind of like the positives because for some reason it feels like that's the part that has been the hardest is staying motivated staying positive about the whole thing we have the ace of wands the seven of wands the fool the star, which is Aquarius, and the king of wands. A lot of you are very passionate about what you do. A lot of you have uh, very big goals and, you know, you're very am ambitious, right? Capricorns are among the most ambitious, I feel. And right now, it feels like there's been a few hiccups, a few bumps in the road, maybe some things that you didn't expect to happen that have made you question whether or not this dream or this goal that you have is realistic and the universe is here to say, Yes, it is. It is realistic. Keep going, right? Keep that hope alive. Keep taking those chances um, and keep the faith because I feel like a lot of the obstacles that are, you know, maybe coming up or a lot of the things that have happened, maybe it's a test for patience, right? Sometimes we go through that just in general, collectively, we all kind of, um, you know, when we're in the process of doing something really powerful, really amazing for ourselves, we tend to come across these tests and we ask ourselves, why is this happening right now of all times? I feel like the universe is saying, I'm always going to throw at you only what you can handle. Take that for what you will. I just feel like the Ace of Wands is there's something much bigger going on here that you need to um, allow yourself to believe. It's kind of like you don't give yourself enough credit until it's too late. And the universe is saying, give yourself credit now. While things are hard, while things are difficult, this is the time to give yourself credit because that's you proving to yourself that you're still hopeful, that you still have the faith, and that you still care about this as much as you did when things were easy. All right, let's clarify the Ace of Wands. Eight of Cups. So it feels like you could be walking away from something um, or choosing to distance yourself from maybe a person, a group of people to keep yourself focused and to keep yourself on this path. I feel like maybe this is also part of what's been difficult is recognizing that in order to achieve, you know, your goals and in order to, um, you know, kind of go in the on the path less traveled, it may be a solo journey for some of you. I feel like the Eight of Cups followed by the world at the bottom of the deck is saying that this new chapter may start out with you being on this solo journey but it's not going to end that way you're just making space for the right people to come in and be a part of it with you we have judgment three of cups queen of pentacles i feel like a lot of you are going to embrace um, meeting like-minded individuals i feel like a lot of you could be having trouble accepting that this is possible maybe your judgment right now is a little bit um you know kind of j not jaded i was going to say that maybe it is you know what maybe it is a little jaded right because you're thinking well i've got to start this or do this on my own how am i going to come across people um, that are like-minded i feel like the universe is saying stay open to the opportunities of this happening right don't close yourself out don't isolate uh, just because you are focusing on this goal doesn't mean you have to shut people out maybe for some of you that's helpful right now but i feel like the universe is saying don't lose hope on all of the positive things that are going to that are going to come through from this journey and from this experience because you are worthy of love you are worthy of company you are worthy of your soul tribe right but right now it feels like in the process that you're in it does it is required for you to be focused it is required for you to be um, in the kind of mindset or environment that you feel is conducive to your growth. So this week really feels like it's about holding on to all of those things because when you feel the lowest is 
when you are the most vulnerable, right? And the universe is saying you're too strong for that, right? You are too uh, powerful. You're too strong-willed. You're too determined to let that stop you. You are almost there. So maybe the hardest part is having to create some boundaries and walk away from certain things, but just know that what you have to look forward to is the replacement of something so much better. So really love this for you. Hope you take it all in. And if you like this reading and it resonated, please give it a like, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.